Hey guys, it's Soldier Girl. I am in the middle of a meal prep and I... It's been a while since I've, I've done a meal prep video, so I thought, why not go ahead and do one. I'm trying to change things up a little bit. I've been kind of Googling different recipes and different ideas, um, watching different YouTube videos to kind of give myself more, you know, ideas as far as different meal preps. Um, so I'm going to do a meal prep right now. It's going to be for six days, and I'm pretty much almost done with it. Um, I pretty much am going to do um, my usual, um, you know, three meals, um, two to three snacks. So my breakfast is going to be, um, I'm trying something different this time around. And I'm trying a, it's it's a, a recipe I got from someone here on YouTube. I think his channel name is Fitman Cook. I think that's his channel name. If it's not, I'll put it in the video, in this video somewhere, in the little uh, description box somewhere. For the, for the breakfast, it's going to be almost like a quiche. And I've pretty much already cut up the vegetables. Um, the yam. Pretty much you're just cubing it and you put it on a cookie sheet, a little um, extra virgin olive oil and um, you bake it for, I baked it for uh, 250 degrees for 20 minutes until it's soft. Um, some of them are even slightly crunchy. Um, I'm going to have one bell pepper, one red bell pepper, one zucchini and about a cup of mushrooms. And so I have that. And I'm gonna have that with ground turkey, which with a probably a piece of fruit. And then um, my snacks are gonna be cottage cheese and fruit. I have, uh, for, for my fruits, I have kiwi, bananas, and um, and apples. And then my, my second snack is gonna be um, ba basically just veggies. I cut up a stalk of um, celery and two cucumbers, and I'm gonna have that also with carrots um, and hummus. And I basically got, what kind did I get this time? I got this kind of hummus. It's um, spicy three pepper hummus. See, bam. Okay, so that's the kind I got. And so that's gonna be my second snack. Lunch is gonna be a um, a romaine salad. I'm gonna put um, tomatoes in it. I'm thinking of adding um, pineapples, raisins. If, for my salad dressing, I'm gonna try this um, signature Italian dressing by Olive Garden. I tried the other one that's a low calorie one. This one's 80 calories. Um, so I'm going to try this for my salads. What else am I going to add to salads? Mm -hmm. And probably croutons. Um, as far as my dinner, I made this chicken. I got this recipe from a website online. It's called um, garlic, honey garlic chicken. And it's a slow cook recipe for a slow cooker, but I went ahead and just did it in the oven. Um, and it actually looks really, really good. I um did a small video on um when I did it, but I don't want to spill it out. But if you can see, let's see, that's what it looks like. And I just have four chicken breasts in there. I'm gonna probably cut them up. Um, I'm having to really decide if I want to use half of this for the salads because it's already seasoned and stuff, so it may not taste right. But I haven't really decided yet as far as the chicken. I'm gonna have that with um with two different rices. I have a garlic butter rice and then I have a yellow rice that I'm going to probably use. I have, I was thinking of using white rice because I'm just, I have tons of white rice and so I'm trying to use stuff that I already have here. I think that's basically it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up here and then I will see you guys um, when I'm done. So this is basically what the breakfast is. It's um, this is a pound of lean ground turkey. Um, I added in a little bit of minced garlic, um, some Italian seasoning, um, a little sea salt, and some pepper. So once this finishes um, browning, I'm going to um, place half of them, half of it, in um, one ten, and the other half in the other one. I'm gonna top it with um, the veggies. And then I'm gonna pour in an egg mixture. I'm going to probably go with 10. Um, actually, you know, I'm probably going to go with 12. Because this is going to last me for um, three days for each 10. That's what I'm hoping for. So I'm going to do all 
of the eggs. I'm gonna use 12 egg whites and only six yolks. I may add a little um, skin milk in it as well into both tins. And I'm gonna bake it, I think it's it bakes for 25 minutes um, at 450. So um, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done though. It's the one that has mozzarella cheese on it. That's why it doesn't look like there's any cheese on it. This one has the sharp cheese on it. So what I'm gonna, what I plan to do is just cover these with um, the foil tops that they came with. I got these from the Dollar Tree for a two pack. And then that's what the chicken looks like. I basically just cut it up and, let, and kind of put it back in the oven for, I guess, another 10 minutes to kind of let the sauce kind of go through the chicken and stuff. And then this is the other half of the yam. So the yam that I used for for these. I only used half, and this is a nice size, nice size yam. So I'm, what I decided to do with it is um, split it into um, for the the dinners. So the dinners are going to be three will be rice and three will be yam. And then this is what we're working at right now. And then I'm about to assemble the dinners. And little man's just been sitting here chilling with me, right, Booba? <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, I'm finally done with my meal prep. Um, finally done. I feel like it took me a while, but I was trying to record as many steps as I could this time around. Um, I'm going to share with you really quick breakfast, lunch, dinner, and two snacks. Um, so for my breakfast, I went ahead and did the, um, they're like quiche. I just folded them up too. I don't know why I did that. Um, and as you saw in the previous clip, one of them has um, mozzarella cheese over top it and, and the other one has cheddar. Um, they both have eggs, um, zucchini, um, bell pepper, mushrooms, and yam. Okay, and so in each container, I'm hoping I can split into three days. So these two should last me for six days. I'm probably going to take them out these tens though and divvy it up into individual containers just so that it lasts longer. I'm not really sure how it how how long it's going to last in these um in these tens because these lids are are cardboard and I don't know how long it's going to last in them. In them. But that's what I plan to do as far as that. These do have about 330 calories per serving size, which will bring this with a piece of fruit to about 375 for breakfast. And then for my lunch, I'm gonna have um, a two cup salad. Normally I would add chicken to this, but I'm just gonna add an egg, an egg white for this, for the protein. It's a two cup uh, romaine salad. Um, it has a few pieces of, of tomato and carrots in here. Gonna have this with the um, Olive Garden um, Italian dressing, which is 80 calories per serving size, which is two tablespoons. Um, and so that, with a piece of fruit, most likely a kiwi, will bring that to just under 300 calories. It's like 294 calories. And so that's going to be my lunch. And then my dinners vary depending on what they are. Some of them have, the chicken's the same for all of them. It's that um, honey garlic chicken that I, that I talked, that you guys saw in the previous clip. Um, 
with either yam as a carb or rice as a carb and either corn as a veggie or string beans as a veggie. So it just really depends on which one based on the calories. Um, and so for the most part, the calories will range between 438 calories to 530 calories, depending on which ones, what they have in them. Um, and so, and basically, let me just show you really quick, because I don't know if I, if I show up close what they look like, but basically this is what one of them looks like. I don't want to get it all mixed up. Um, but yeah, but it has the yellow rice, uh, the rice pilaf, the chicken, and then string beans. And then this one here has the chicken, corn, and the yam, and then that's what that one looks like. Um, someone asked me, where do I get my container? These are Snapper containers. I got these for couponing for like, for free, pretty much. I have tons of them. Only thing I don't like about these is that they don't have dividers. And then, there's, I feel like they're so big and I feel like I have to fill them completely. And so this time around, I really try my hardest to just stick to serving sizes. And so for the rice, these are all half. I think they're all half. The rice is half cups. Um, I didn't measure the chicken. I just put four pieces in each one. And then the string beans is half a cup, and the yam, I want to say, is about a cup and a half. Um, but I just basically split that one piece of yam into three days. And then for the snacks, I have two snacks. One snack is going to be a half a cup of, of cottage cheese with half a cup of pineapples, um, pineapple chunks. And then it's going to have um, one third cup of trail mix, which is right here, which has peanuts, cashews, raisins. Um, almonds and M&Ms and then um, my other snack is going to be a veggie it's just veggies it's just celery sticks um, celery sticks um, cucumber sticks and then some baby carrots and I'm going to have that with uh, two tablespoons of hummus this is a spicy hummus um, and then I'm going to have that with um, a piece of fruit as well so the calories for the cottage cheese is 310 the tr cottage cheese and the um, trail mix is 310 and then the veggie with the hummus and the fruit is going to be 215 calories so overall here you guys I'm pretty much trying to stay under 1800 calories um, this all came to be about 17 and 1775 altogether and so um, that's basically that of course I'm going to have my water I usually buy gallons, but I have oh, probably under 30 cases of, uh, of water in the, in the garage. And I just don't want to go buy gallons if I have single bottles um, already. And so, of course, I'm going to be having water. I may have coffee in the morning. I haven't really decided if I want to ditch my coffee. But um, this is going to be a six-day prep. And then I'll try to I'll record um, a prep for next week for you guys as well. That's basically it. Um, for those of you who want to see more videos like this, definitely like this video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Later, guys.